Now you know me, I'm a guy who just does tutorials. But what you don't know about me, I have powers. So you see this bottle on the screen right now? Well, I'm gonna make it come towards you, I'm then gonna make it go up, and then I'm gonna make it slide left and right. You don't believe me? Well, then just watch. <laughs> What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a Telekinesis effect in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this tutorial, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below, or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see I have Sony Vegas opened up right here and this is my default clip which I've recorded. Now this is the exact same way you're going to record it as well. You're going to have an object in front of the camera, just keep it on the camera for a few seconds and then take that object away. And that's the basic setup of this. Now this isn't actually hard to do, the hardest part is filming it. Natural light or lighting and shadows are your worst enemy when you're trying to do this effect. I've tried so many different places in my house to try this effect. I finally think I've got a good or a decent amount of place. I finally think I've got a decent place to do the effect. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, as you can see, the camera moves a bit there. And then it stays still. So, right here, I'm going to make sure it's at the best and full and then I'm gonna take a snapshot just like this I'm just gonna save this to my desktop and you're gonna get image one I'm then gonna come across to where the bottle gets taken away and yes you've guessed it I'm gonna take another screenshot and this is gonna be called image two now the video track we can get rid of it what we're working with now is purely images so image one is with the bottle image two is just the background we need to add another video track here now the background track needs to be underneath the object and there's a reason for that we're going to be masking out the object as you can see for an example I'm using a water bottle and to mask you want to come to the event pan and crop now I can't promise you I'm going to do the best masking because masking is very very hard in this situation the reason for that you will end up seeing little little bits of the carpet or maybe shadows on the edge of the bottle so it's going to be very very time consuming to do this uh, but yeah it will be worth it so go to the masking tool make sure sync cursor is checked you want to make sure you're right at the start of your video again make sure this is on the track with the object you want to come over to your anchor creation tool and then just zoom in a bit to your bottle and now you want to mask it out. So I'm able to put it full screen here and now we've got to begin to mask. So let's do this. For those that are new to masking this is very simple to do. Anchor creation tool, all we're going to do is go around the edges like this. So as you can see we're just going to left click and these dots are going to appear. Now for the purpose of this tutorial I am going a bit quicker than I normally would. You guys can take your time because then you will get the best effect this is what you have to do mask it out like this so of course you will be very careful as well and the bottle is straight here now we need to zoom out a bit and you use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out so it's very simple and as you'll see this part I'm gonna be a bit rough uh, it's not gonna be the best because I can't zoom in onto this part but we will fix it after so right now it's just the basic sketch um, of the top part but we will fix it and then connect it back up to the first pen of uh, the first anchor we created so this is what you'll get and if we just close out of this for a second as you'll see it's masked out so if we come to the track motion this is the track motion right here and we just bring it towards us it gives us a chance to see any faults we have done with the bottle or the masking itself to be honest, I'm actually pretty impressed with my masking on that. Uh, I rushed it, and it seems to be okay. There are bits here and there 
that will be fixed and we'll do that now. So I'm just going to right click and click restore box so it's back to the normal position. And now I'm going to come to the masking tool again. And now I'm going to come over to the normal edit tool and remember there was a part messed up at the top. On this, We'll start with the side here. Now how do we fix this? Well it's very simple. Come to the anchor creation tool, just left click here. For me anyway. And then I'm going to come to the normal edit tool again. I'm just going to drag this anchor point to closer to the bottle like that. So as you'll see, it'll give us an overall more accurate masking. So just take your time with this and get that corner right there. As you can see, it's messed up here as well. We need to add another anchor point. So we come to the anchor creation tool. We just left click somewhere, come back to the normal edit tool. And then we just simply add it in like that. So it's very simple to do. And I'm just going to continue going through like this and hopefully fixing it so it looks better. Okay, so I've done the best I could to mask out the bottle, so if we X out of this and use the track motion to zoom in again, let's see if we've missed anything out. So, track motion, use it to your advantage. Um, the bottom left we can fix up a bit, and um, I believe that is it. So the top looks much more better now, as you can see it's more clean. We're going to try and fix this right here. It's going to be a bit harder because it's a shadow at the same time, and so is this side here. But yeah, let's try and do this. So, what you can actually do, come back to the track motion, if you zoom in to the part what you're about to fix, and just zoom in a bit more, again, use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out of this, X out of this, and come back to the event pattern crop. If we just make this a bit smaller so you can see the, uh, the screen at the same time, Make sure Sync Cursor is unchecked this time, and make sure you're right at the start on the masking. And now, if zoom into the part we're fixing, and this time, we can literally see live how we're fixing it. So as you can see, we're slowly getting rid of the black like that. So, it's I guess it's a better way of doing it, because you're going to be more accurate, and you can see that it's being fixed. As you can see, just like that. It's done. Much more quicker and simpler, so I do recommend that to you. So I'm going to come back to track motion, right click, restore box. And uh, I'm going to do one final check, just make sure everything's okay. Zooming in quite a lot on this one. Everything seems fine to me on that. Yep, I'm going to right click and restore the box. And now I decide what I want to do with it. So, the way you animate it is with track motion. So I'm going to open up the track motion tool and I'm just going to put it here. Let's bring this down. This time you can have sync cursor checked again. Make sure you're on position. And let's play through. So, I want it to come out a bit. Um, yeah, we'll have it come out. So, as sync cursor is checked, we stopped on 3 seconds. That means this is also on 3 seconds. And that means we can animate. So, we can drag this up. Oh, promoting right there. Free promoting. I should get a year's worth of supply. Anyway. Uh, let's just play this. So as you can see, the bottle is going to come towards us just like that. Uh, we can make it go back to the normal position by right clicking and restore box. We're going to come across a few more seconds. Uh, this time we'll make it go up in the air. As you can see, it looks nice and clean. Uh, we'll make it land back down, so right click restore box. Then we'll make it go to the left. And then we'll make it slide across to the right and that'll be the end of it. So it's going to come straight across the screen sliding to the right. So let's play through what we have just created. The bottle comes towards you. It's going to go back. Then it goes up. Then it comes back down. Then it's to the left. Then it's to the right. And then you're complete. 
That is how you do the telekinesis effect in Sony Vegas. Again, lighting, shadows are your worst enemy when you're trying to record. I've been trying to work on this for the past two weeks. Two weeks trying to find a position for good lighting. In the end, I shut all the doors on my landing, I turned on the light, and that was the way I got the best lighting. But that is how you do a telekinesis effect in Sony Vegas. Of course, if you have someone in the background moving, it will look so much more better because then you can use the video footage. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.